1939, a five-year-old Peruvian girl got pregnant. Her name was Lena Medina, and she gave birth to a healthy baby boy. According to Barbara and David Mickelson, she became the youngest mother on record. Getting pregnant is caused by a boy and a girl having sexual intercourse. By having sex with many partners, it can cause STDs. This is a major problem in many teens, therefore, we need to teach the children ahead. I believe sex education should be taught as early as 6th grade to prevent pregnancy and STDs in early age. Today, I will be talking about Lena Medina's pregnancy, the reasons why sex education should start in 6th grade, and different contraception that can prevent pregnancy and STDs. First, I will talk about Lena's incidents. At age 5, her physician first thought that she had a, a massive abdominal tumor. After doing some examination, they found out that she was actually pregnant. Mm -hmm. She gave birth to a healthy boy through C-section because her body was, very, was too small. Before I move on to the next slide, there's a picture of her naked, so if you don't want to look, you can turn around. Here you can see a picture of Lina Medina. So you can see that her breast is, is developed, and there her big belly, she's carrying her baby boy. And on the right, there's a picture of her after she gave birth and her baby's home carriage. Leah's incident showed that it is possible for young little girls to get pregnant. Here I have a video that summarizes her pregnancy life. Next, I will talk about the reasons why sex ed education should start in sixth grade. Many children are unaware of their body changes, which can be a problem when they are sexually active or raped. According to the studies led by the Director of Adolescence Medicine, Frank Farrow found that the breast development for girls ages 7 to 8 are, is increasing. Breast development usually means that menstruation for gir girls starts within 2 to 3 years. Here I found statistics that for age for age for girls ages seven, the population for girls for in nineteen ninety seven is five percent developed their breasts. And in two thousand ten it increased to ten to twenty four percent depending on the race. And for age eight, ten percent of the girls population developed breasts. And in, in two thousand ten it increased to eighteen percent to thirty seven percent depending on the race. This shows that more girls are maturing every year. Girls who menstruate earlier are also at greater risk for breast cancer later in life. 
Puberty for boys can start between ages 9 to 15, which means that boys can become sexually active at a very young age. Having sexual intercourse at a young age can lead to STDs if they were to have many sex, sex partners. With, se with sex education, we can prevent the children from getting X STDs and getting pregnant. There is a chart of rate of teen pregnancies in the state of Maine. In 2006, you can see that 0.4% from ages 10 to 14 females get pregnant in Maine. And the rate over here says rate per 1,000 females. So 0.4% would mean that four females out of, four, out of 1,000 girls ages 10 to 14 get pregnant in Maine. Sure, parents can teach their children about sex, but some parents do not know what STD is because they never learned or experienced it. Some parents are even embarrassed to talk to their children about sex. Sex education may sound inappropriate for children, but there there are things that are never appropriate. But there, but it can't and it can't be kept away from them, like such as the media's movies and the internet. If parents are concerned about their children being teased in school, sex education could be taught separately for girls and boys. That way, boys know their own things and girls know their own things. Finally, I will talk about how we can protect the children. There are many different contraceptions that can be used to prevent STDs and, and pregnancy. One of them is condom, as you can see here on the left, which can protect the children from STD and pregnancy if used properly. Another way is going to see the doctor and ask for what is best for their body, because some medicines are, are too strong for their body. Absin abstinence is the best way and is guaranteed to protect you from STDs and pregnancy. So by teaching children the sex, the sex education, they can learn how to use abstinence. Now I will summarize what I had talked about. Many children are unaware of what sexual activity can do to their body. Lena's incidents showed us that girls can get pregnant as early as five years old. STD and pregnancy can occur after sexual intercourse, even for the first time. To prevent, to prevent this, abstinence should be taught because it is the best contraception to use. It is our job to teach the children who will one day make our future a better place to live. Is there any questions?